what it is, y'all. It is your old boy, Pilk, and I'm coming back today with more Damachi. Now, today, we got a treat for y'all. As you guys know, we've been talking a lot about the water team and how insane they are, especially uh, Aisha. She is just an absolute monster. Uh, but hilariously, we got Fire Zone, which heavily favors, well, I mean, pretty much you have to use water in this one. Uh, and of course, literally what we're going to do is we're just going to literally reuse the Record Buster team that we used in the last Record Buster event. Almost to the letter, because this is absolutely just completely insane. It's hilarious. Now, we're going to auto-run this one, and this will be done in probably five turns. Uh, it really won't be that big of a deal. But that's not really what we're here to flex. I think it's pretty obvious that this team is completely bonkers. Um, of course, our goal here is to build up to a double SA. We're going to do Haruhime and Bell. Honestly, realistically, a, a better combo would probably be Bell and Aisha. That would probably be a, a bigger, crazier hit. Um, but if you want to know basically the team composition, you know in the beginning, we bring in Ray because that gives us a little bit of healing. We didn't need that with Record Buster. We don't need it here, but it is a thing. Then Ray swaps out, and we bring in Aphrodite. Aphrodite then obviously buffs the AoE damage, and then we finally bring in Haruhime, who once again can buff 33% of the SAH charge. And the main thing that she does here, not only is buff a debuff replication, but this attack, which gives us 120% strength and magic attack. It is pretty nuts. Now, obviously she's going to do this. She's going to wreck this event out. But then, after she does this, we're going to bring in Bell. Because if you're not familiar, Bell's SA gives everybody 100% water attack damage. So that means basically at, at the end of this turn, well on this turn, after the end of these two SAs, Every single unit on this team is going to have 120%, 120% strength and magic with 100% water. So basically everybody on the team is going to just hit that much harder. It's going to be insane. Notice that we basically took him down what? I mean, over, I think, I want to say, say like half of his health was gone just on those SAs. I didn't pay a huge amount of attention to it. But like I said, turn five kill. Now, there, yeah, there is a way to do a much faster kill. This is not a record-breaking record, uh, record number. But 25 mil is a really, really, really good number. Now, here's the thing to remember, guys. Your goal here is to break 15 mil. Because if you're not familiar, if we go over here to Guild, and you go to these rewards here, once you break 15 mil, you actually get 10... Uh, Iris. And it's not, I know it's not a lot, but it actually adds up. And the fact that 7 million is 5 Iris, basically we get 30 Iris just for running this event. So, take advantage of that. Take advantage of that. Now, here's the fun part. Light Zone. Normally, and I will say normally, when we go into 7th Zone, you know, it's very specific. Okay? Because remember, the opponent is going to buff... Uh, basically any elemental damages aside from the recommended damage up well over 100%. So elemental damage really kind of becomes moot. Like we could debuff it down a little bit, but it's, you know, we're really talking still like, you know, 80 to 90% resistance. It is really, really, really nuts how resistant these op this opponent becomes to other elemental damage. So normally, I emphasize normally, it is preferable to actually go into an event like this only with the recommended element team. It's really hard to beat this with any other team. So bear that in mind as you witness the absolute slaughter that is about to t pretty much go down. It's hilarious. All right. So once again, we're going to build up to a double SA. When we get to the double SA is when it's going to get pretty wild. Now, we're not really... We're, I mean, we're taking a little bit of health out here and there. I mean, these units are beefy. These units really do a great job. But it's not really the end of the world quite yet. It's when we get that insane 120% strength and magic buff. Now, I did say on the last one, uh, when it came to the water attack damage, Bell's buff and Aisha's buff would probably be just a better combination here. 
But you got to have Haruhime on this one. Haruhime really just like sells it. She's the main asset here that's really causing us to do as much damage as we are doing. Now, obviously, the water attack damage buff is helping as well because we are going to have the opponent debuff. Now, at the end of this turn, we're going to go ahead and look at what he does. So I'm going to take the uh, auto runoff and we're going to basically take a look at how much you know damage we're doing versus how much is debuffed. Because we're not getting another debuff. Debuffs are in. All right. Now, I could put an opponent on this team, or I say a unit on this team, that debuffs water. And that would probably help out a bit. Build up to a triple essay or whatever. But I'm going to be honest with you. For the sake of simple laziness, I don't need to do that. So I'm not going to do that. It's, it's hilarious, but it's literally just me being lazy. Um, and... A lot of it just comes down to, it's literally a recycled team. It, this team is literally just taken from our uh, Family Royale runs. So, we're up to, what do we have now? About 5 million health. And water has been debuffed. Actually, water is down 55%. That's a huge debuff. So, water, water attribute damage is down 40%. Uh, AOE damage is down 35%. Or, say, is increased 35%. Physical resistance is down 40%. All this is going to help, like, just produce crazy stuff. Now, let's do a little math here. So, water attribute is down 55%, which means we have a 65% debuff all in. Uh, I'm sorry. 45% debuff. Yeah. 55% debuff. Whatever. All in. Math is hard. So, that means... Obviously, we have the 40% water damage here and 15% over here on the assist side. So, let's see what it's going to take. Because I think you can basically feel it now. This opponent is going down. This opponent is done. All we got to do really is just get the right number of essays off and just finish the job. So, and I know normally we do this one because it is a single target unit. But I kind of feel like Aisha has proven her worth. She hits insanely hard. And I will tell you, Riveria does like four digit damage uh, in the state we're at now, especially considering how much we've debuffed physical. And this being a physical unit, she's just going to pay out. Let's see what she does here. <laughs> she did almost a million damage. I want to point out. This opponent is specifically resisting water attack. Specifically resisting water attack. And we've hit a state where we have debuffed so much and our unit is so insane that they're literally, like, this unit is literally designed not to do what it's doing now. Like, I, I hate to say it, we could probably just take on every single 7th zone with water going forward like unless they really do something unless they bring back double double ailment or something like that we could crush the like every seventh zone going forward with water that's insane that is truly nuts and the best part is we got an 18 mil score that is pretty close to like what a respectable dark team would do because dark has not just received the buffs that it needs that's we probably have like if i rebuilt this team if i did some some just just a little bit of tweaking on this team we probably could have a 20 mil score here guys if you've got a good water team just build a single target water team and use it for any single target event it's absolutely nuts under 10 turns over 15 mil with water, an AOE water team, I will also point out, on a single target event. If that doesn't sell how nuts this team is, how absolutely insane the buff this team has received is, I don't know what does. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section, because I personally am just absolutely blown away by this. But that's going to be the video, guys. Like, comment, share all the good stuff. I'll catch you guys on the next one.